you know, you guys, the Christian, are supposed to be the first to go to Mecca and worship at the Kaaba. No, because Mecca is not in the Bible, and there's no evidence any biblical author even knew of Mecca's existence. So I begin by saying, open your Bible. He opened the Bible. I said, open the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 19. He opened. I said, open the page I'm going to read from my head. Because I'm telling you, my friend, if I go to sleep and you wake me up, I can read the Bible upside down. Well then, you can't use ignorance as an excuse if you get these Bible verses wildly wrong. Well, now I can do that and I'm not boasting. Yes, you are. So Isaiah 19, 19, it says, God Almighty speaking to prophet Isaiah. So God said to Isaiah, Oh, Isaiah, towards the end of time, there will be a temple built in a town near Egypt. So this is just simply not true. Isaiah 19 says an altar, not a temple, will be built in the midst of Egypt to the divine name, not in the town near it. So there's no temple in verse 19. And if it was saying the altar will be built in a town near Egypt, you'd have to have a similar construction like what you find in Genesis 35, 4, where it says a tree was near Shechem or Joshua 7, 2, where it says, I was near Beth Aven. Isaiah 19, 19 is saying the altar will be in Egypt, not on the outside of the nation. But at the corner of that temple will be a black stone. And that's another lie. Nowhere in the whole chapter does it mention a black stone. Verse 19 says there'll be a pillar on the border of Egypt. That's it. So the verse doesn't mention a temple, let alone that it will be near Egypt, says there'll be an altar in Egypt, and it doesn't mention a black stone. If someone tells you they've memorized the Bible and they tell you this, they're lying to you. Now they remove from the new international version or the new revised standard version published in 1973. They remove it, they put at the corner of that temple will be a pillar. So this is another lie. We can look at biblical texts from before 1973 and see that it says pillar, not black stone. Here in the King James, you can see it says pillar. If we look in Codex Sinaiticus, we don't see black stone, but we see the word for pillar or column. And if we look at the great Isaiah scroll found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, you can see it says pillar. And you don't see black stone anywhere. See how they change it? Because they're always changing their books. No, languages change, so translations need updated. But you need to stop lying about what our book says. Look at the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 8. It says, do you think that we have the law of Moses and the other prophet with us still? No, the pen of those who write the books have turned it into a lie. So that is not what Jeremiah is saying. As Dr. John Bergsma has noted, Jeremiah used the Pentateuch and quoted from it often. Jeremiah is referring to other scribes that have copies that are corrupted, but that doesn't mean Jeremiah thought he had a corrupted copy. Just like Tertullian can call out Marcion for mutilating the gospel, while still thinking he has accurate Gospels from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I said the second one is, open the Psalms of David, chapter 84, verse 6. Oh my goodness, this one again? It says, blessed is the man in whose heart is yearning for the pilgrimage. To Zion, the mountain Jerusalem, verse 7 says they're going to appear before God in Zion. He who went to the valley of Becca, no, they go through the valley of Baca on their way to Zion. In the Hebrew language, it's Haggi. In Arabic, it's Hajj. In Hebrew, Haggi is pilgrim, to, to move for the sake of Allah, pilgrimage. So, blessed is the man in whose heart is yearning for Haggi in the Hebrew language. The chapter also does not say that. It uses a Hebrew word for highway, which doesn't sound like Hajj at all. You went to the valley? Mecca or Becca is a valley. There are also valleys around Jerusalem that you would walk through to get to Zion, which is what the chapter is about. I'm going to give you one more. Well, you've given us none so far. Third one I said about Mecca is open the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible. Chapter 7, verse 9, all the way to verse 12. You mean the one where saints are in heaven with living creatures and angels worshiping God and the Lamb, who is Jesus? John the Apocalypse, he had a dream. And in that dream, John said, And the Lord showed me, and I saw men, watch this, and I saw men and women and kindred and people with different colors from different nations. And all of them were wearing white clothes. And the lamb of sacrifice is in their midst. 
And some were bowing down, some were prostrating, and some were saying, Salvation unto thee, O Lord. No, it says salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and the Lamb. Revelation clearly teaches that Jesus is ontologically God. It's a book that aligns with Trinitarian theology, not Islam. I just saw you who read the book. You don't even know your Bible. Those are bold words considering what you just said. Stone-licking pagans. For the sake of Alishin, stop reading the Bible upside down. By the way, stone-licking pagans, Jesus did mention you in the Bible. Leviticus 26, 1. Jesus say, Do not make idols or set up an image or a sacred stone for yourselves, and do not place a carved stone in your land to bow down before it. I am the Lord, your God.